This is how I'm revamping my style for my 20s. Hi everybody, my name is Georgia Overbeck and welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about how I'm redoing my style now that I am 20 years old. I recently just celebrated my birthday on July 1st and on that day, I decided that I wanted to change up my style for my 20s. I would say that for a long time, my style was very comfortable. It was very casual. I didn't put a lot of effort into it. I didn't have like a general direction of where I wanted to go with my style. I would wear just whatever was comfortable and would look kind of okay in the moment. I didn't really know what was flattering for my body type or how I should be dressing. And I would say that this lasted for a long time. In my early teens, my family and I were still very religious at that time and so a lot of my style was very modest. It was very mature for my age is what I would say. In my late teens and as we were getting out of the religion, I would say that I just dressed very comfortable. I, again, as I said before, I didn't really have a general direction of what I wanted to go for. Also around that time, we were selling everything we owned and moved to a new country and so we didn't have a lot of space for an assortment of pieces and so I feel like for a really long time I just put fashion and stuff on the back burner also COVID happened around that time and so I didn't really feel like we were going out and I had a reason to dress up but I've put it off for too long and I've decided that I finally want to have a personal style the style that I've decided to go for is what I like to call a mix between coastal grandmother and that girl I originally saw the coastal grandmother aesthetic last year when it was going really big in 2022 so to nail the trend you want to stick to earthy tones like blues greens creams white beige and light pinks and essential pieces are cotton long sleeve shirts, sweaters, cargo pants, and hats. Also things like white button downs, jeans, but not skinny jeans, casual trousers, and high quality t-shirts are other staples. So again, I'm not gonna be sticking to this exactly. I'm kind of putting my own spin on it, but I'm gonna show you some of the pieces that I've gotten over the last couple of weeks and also some that I already had in my closet that I am bringing into this new style with me. So let's get started. So first thing, and one of the most important things for the Coastal Grandmother style is accessories. You would mainly wear gold jewelry. That's really what is part of the aesthetic and what I've really been drawn to recently. So first of all, I have these hoop earrings. I've actually had these for about a year now, but I haven't worn them a ton. They're just little gold hoops. And I actually got these at a thrift store. And then this necklace. This necklace I got from Winners actually just yesterday. So it's a gold it's very shiny and it's like a two layer necklace so it's perfect for layering and just adds either a little bit of it makes an outfit a little bit more fancy or if you wear it with something more casual then it definitely can be more casual now let's get into the actual clothing pieces so I'm gonna start off very basic here with I think is in right now but not just for the coastal grandmother aesthetic it could really be for any clothing aesthetic that is the classic white button-down shirt these are so comfy and will elevate any outfit just by adding it over like even if the outfits that I had shown before where I was wearing just jean shorts and a tank top if I had added this I feel like that would elevate it so much more you can get these really anywhere it's just finding the fit and style that you like I prefer mine a little bit oversized next is actually a piece that I've already had in my closet button down shirt that is white and gray and blue stripe and this one is nice if you have like a white pair of jeans and a white tank top to add some color and a fun element to it also again super comfy i've had this for about a year and i love it 
Next is this little dress. So it's a short length dress with some off the shoulder sleeves and then there's also like the little tank straps there so it doesn't fall down. Super cute and flowy and loose and I feel like this with a straw hat would be super cute. Add some accessories to it but I feel like this would be a good essential to have for your coastal grandmother wardrobe. It's just a cute little white dress. Next, I was trying these on in the change room and I wasn't sure if I wanted to get them but I'm so glad that I did. They are these jeans, are very wide leg and like they're cut off on the bottom and they fit really nice. I really like them and I'm glad that I got them. Again, these would be really nice paired with a button down shirt. Maybe not white, like maybe a blue one or a striped one, maybe the one that I just showed. Even like a cute little white lacy top or something like that. And I'm really glad that I got these. Then I have this blue button down shirt, which I actually got from the secondhand store. And this one is a little bit more tighter fit, which is good if you have like a looser bottom. Something that I've been learning recently is that when you're making, putting together an outfit, make it look the most flattering. You don't want it to be loose and baggy on top and loose and baggy on the bottom. And you don't want it to be super tight on top and super tight on the bottom. At least for me, I like to have one of each, whether that's on the top or the bottom. So if I'm wearing like a loose pair of pants, then I would wear this shirt because it's a little bit tighter. I love this color. I think it's so beautiful. And I have another pair of pants that actually had previously. They're just like gray straight leg pants. And these are really good. Again, you could wear them with this. You could wear them with a cute little white top or even just with like a white tank top. Then I have these jean shorts. And these, so the style for the Coastal Grandmother, and I think that's in right now for a lot of different styles, is the longer shorts. Instead of these being like cut off here, they are probably eight or nine inch. These are super comfy, super cute, and again, you could wear a loose button down with this. You could wear even just a small little like top. Next, I have just like a basic tank top. This is a cream tan color, and this you see would go so cute together and then you could wear like a button down or something over top of that but just basics is a really good thing to have for the coastal grandmother aesthetic this white tank top is also the same one and i've been wearing this a ton i have another pair of shorts this time they're like this so they're nice and loose and flowy they are a cream tan color and they just look super cute because they're almost like they look sophisticated but they can be definitely casual and they're so comfy which i love because going into this, I still wanted to make sure that my style was comfy. I didn't want to feel uncomfortable. I just wanted to be comfy and cute. And I really feel like this aesthetic puts those two things together, which is amazing. Next up, I have cardigan. I don't know how to explain this. Sweater. The color is perfect for the Coastal Grandmother aesthetic. I really like the collar. And again, you can dress this up or down and it's super comfy. This next shirt is something that I bought on the first day that I decided to redo my style. And it's this little white button down shirt, but it's cropped and has the tie up detail. This is a dress that I actually had in my wardrobe again from last year. And it's a maxi dress that has like lace detailing on it. And then the top has the little buttons. And it's so simple, but so elegant at the same time. It just gives Mamma Mia vibes. It gives Coastal Grandmother and I love it. As I showed you before, those really cute cream shorts. I have them in pants as well. They are so comfy. I love these pants. They're like, again, the wide leg. They just feel so loose and flowy and comfy. And I would wear these around the house. I would wear these going out. They're just so perfect. And again, you could wear like a white tank top with this and then have your button down over it. You could wear like a cute little top. They're just so cute. I have another button down shirt because those are staples for this style. And it's this blue and white button down shirt. And this one is good to have if you're already wearing like a white bottom and you don't wanna go white on white on white. If you want a little bit of color, then this is perfect. And again, comfy and it's amazing. And then the last thing that I've gotten for this style, are these jeans. Before I would wear a lot of skinny jeans, ripped jeans, which are cute and they were good at the time, but for what I'm going for now, 
I needed something different. And so I got these jeans, which are straight leg dad jeans, I believe is what they're called. I love them. They make my butt look really good. And they're just so cute overall. And they go with pretty much every single shirt or top that I have here. And I love them. I've worn them around the house. I've worn them out. They are just amazing. So those are all of these staples for my new style. Thank you so much for watching this video. I would love to know when is the last time that you redid your style and what would you call it now? I'm still trying to figure out a name for this because of course I do love the Coastal Grandmother but there's a few other styles and influences that I'm putting in there as well. So maybe I'll just call it the Georgia style for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe got some style inspiration for yourself or some new pieces that you wanna pick up. Have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video.